Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Draw uh, number two. Um, I'm going to be drawing another round of pirates, so let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is episode two of Let's Draw. Uh, today I'll be drawing another um, round of pirates, uh, this time on a ship. Hopefully uh, that's cool with everyone. Uh, I was too lazy to come up with a different idea um, and I was doing the both both episode one and two the same week, so I, th I feel like for the next uh, for one and two, and let's see, three and four is going to have the same theme, and then uh, five and six they're going to have like also like a different theme, but probably similar. Just for the uh, um, the ease for me, because uh, I just want to get these out uh, just for the initial launch of the website. It was recommended to have six to ten uh, videos created, so I'm just trying to crank these out. All right, so I'm gonna. This is so today. It's an 11 by 17. Can't see it all the way, so yeah. 11 by 17 uh, illustration, and I was gonna be using uh, nibs this time, so that's gonna be different. And but. Also using the brush, uh, I like to use the brush for the people, and then I like to um, use nibs for um, background elements. Like the ship, it will mostly all be nib, um, just because I get like a really rough uh, feel out of it that I like. Um, I guess while I'm talking here, uh, so I'm going to be using this is real pencil. I, I think the an O one I used. Uh, um, it was a digital sketch that I printed out in blue pencil. So this is real pencil. I like to just work with my mechanical pencil here. Yep. It's like a 2B lead um, just because it's soft and comes up pretty easily. And then now I'm going to be using, let's see, Mars dry cleaning pad. Stadler made it. Stadler brand. Um, so it looks like this. Uh, all inside here are um, eraser shavings. So if I use if I use my um, kneaded eraser or a <clears throat> say my or my or this eraser, it would just like take away the line completely, uh, which I don't want to do. I want to lighten that up, uh, especially in like some of these heavier dark spots. So really, I'll. You kind of just have to go over a little and like, and you might have to do what, you know, like what I'm doing here, I wake up, what time do I wake up? I wake up at 4.30 as my alarm goes off and it hits snooze once usually. So I get up and then get up around 4.45. Get up, get my coffee, speaking of coffee, I'm gonna take another drink, get my eggs, coffee eggs. You can probably hear me swallowing because the mic is right there. Um, yeah, coffee, eggs. And then getting my butt into the chair to start working on something. Been a lot of website stuff of late, but I, I finally entered the, the drawing portion. All I have really left is uh, these videos. <clears throat> can I say I want to make that flat plaque? I'm just doodling away. See, so I have the containment line around there, so. Where's my marker? Bringing back the perm opaque. So, yeah, I wake up and then, uh, used to, that's new, waking up that early. Let's get a smaller side on this. Because I needed to find more time. The only way to find more time is to wake up earlier for me, at least. And you know, it's it's what has to be done. But I enjoy this work, um, and hopefully you all enjoy it. There we go. Get a little darker there, especially around this hair. Got to pop the hair. And then when you're looking at this stuff, you're like, <laughs> you just have to pull back for a second. You're like. Does this read? You have to ask your question. 
ask yourself that question. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're starting out. Um, you just have to do that task over and over and over again, um, and then develop your eye for being able to be more critical of your work of like, you know, does this read? Like when you ask yourself that question and then can make ad adjustments accordingly. That's a skill that takes time. Yeah, you kind of you kind of have to figure out where your natural uh, line movements are with your hand, and just rotate the paper for it if need to. This is actually fun to make a video for y'all because no one really gets to see me work. It's a very solitary process. Only uh, at conventions do people get to see me. But um, usually those are too short though. I can, uh, at least with video and then editing, I can do more of a longer format. Okay. To do what do I want to do? I want to reach for my trusty ruler here. So you can make straight lines. I just want to kind of do the establish the line for the the ship that she. Oh. The edge, balcony, whatever the hell that is. So you get a metal ruler, tip it up. I don't know what that piece is. <laughs> what is that? I guess I let's play the game. What did I mean by that? noises a lot, or fake noises. I am a fake noise, how about that? Um, I, mean, I can uh, fake, I like to freehand a lot of my um, my lines, but I think every once in a while it's nice to have just one nice solid uh, straight line, just to like, for me as a focal point, or establishing line, I can work from there when going in perspective, um, but also it just it just helps ground um, the, the the image. It's like just feels nice, solid. Uh, I made this guy super hairy on purpose. Wait until I get down into the chest area. Yeah. more of a sleeveless shirt on. I 
Got to make it feel like the wind is tugging at it. So. Me. Too bad I don't have a fancy studio with a cough button. Slightly turn off the mic for coughing. They have those. Most professional radio places have that. I am not professional radio. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm totally throwing in the armpit in here. Let's make it a little rough down there. Doing it. Not sexy. Look at that armpit here. Okay. Moving over to the nib. Let me make sure I'm geared up. Nib in time. I'm a lot. Like I said, with the nibs, I tend to go a lot. I don't know how to describe it. It's, I attack the page? I tend to be a lot rougher with, with uh, nibs. And I hope you don't mind that scratching sound because you're just going to hear a whole bunch of it. Let's yeah. see, the nib I'm using right now is a, uh, I think it's a Zebra brand um, G nib. And, um, the nice thing about the G-nibs is that they don't get caught. I can uh, go back and forth. See, I can squiggle back and forth with it without it getting... If I if I did this with more of a, a Maro nib or any American-style made nibs, um, it would catch on the page and probably break the nib. going faster. So like I said, with nibs, I have to be careful not to rub my arm over it or the my hand. Um, because it pulls up a lot more compared to um, a brush, which gets absorbed more readily by the paper. Should have started with this one and worked my way that way. 
it's better um, since I'm left-handed to like that direction. So I'm gonna have to let that dry a little bit. So I'm gonna work on this rope right here. That's all it is really, nib <laughs> nibs. Just throw down a bunch of marks. It's been interesting um, training up for the marathon. So my goal for, for marathon training is to be able to run 20 miles straight. And it seems like I might hit that um, if my legs don't give out. I, I keep running into like injuries or like um, my legs are just trying to adjust uh, to the new demand. It seems like every time I um, add a mile something else, um, like, oh, repair one part of my body and then the other part, like, will give out. So did everyone get to go see Star Wars? I enjoyed it a lot. I was just happy that, you know, it was, it was, it was good. It was a good Star Wars film. And you know what? That's all I wanted. <laughs> I think there's some folks out there who didn't like it, but I'm like, really? I'm like, I'm just more appreciative that there's a, there is a Star Wars film at all. That and it, and it felt like you know, continuation of from the originals. Just make sure I'm still in frame. Oh. oh, that happened. Sorry, folks, I didn't realize. Hold on one sec. The whole time. So you've probably been... There's going to be about 10 minutes worth of edited in um, footage that's going to be shaky uh, because um, I didn't realize the, uh, the mount arm that I have my camera attached to was touching my desk. I, like, I, I was trying to keep it separate from my desk um, because it picks up the shakes. I didn't realize this desk shakes a lot uh, until you know until I attached the camera to it and then watched it back and I was like oh that I need to attach it somewhere else but it seems like you know I thought the arm was separate but it seemed like it was touching my desk so it was picking up the shakes sorry about that uh, hopefully I have some footage to use for that so I gotta go back through and so. I'm gonna beef up the line weight on this guy right here. Sometimes, I don't know how much, like, you know, I, I'll throw in the line weight. But then once I see it, break that tangent a little there, um, with everything else around it, I'm like, yep, time, maybe definitely beef it up just to, for it to pop in front of all those other elements. Yeah, I gotta take uh, my cat in to get x-rayed today. And then scoped. <laughs> I guess they stick, they're gonna stick a scope up her nose to see if she has like... X-ray, they said, is to check for a mass in her chest. 
and then the scope is going to be the um, samples, the nasal cavity for bacterial or fungal infections. I'm like, oh, joy. No warning on that one. <laughs> to the end of it. The mast over here, I need to address. Let's see. All right, as well. See my brush fell over. Just dropping in more elements to ground them more into the space, like shadows and um, blackening up areas that need it. I might have like left. <clears throat> as I go.
looking for other whiteout areas. Still need to hit up their noses. All right, folks, this is the end for Let's Draw number two. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and if you can like, share, and subscribe to the video, um, that'd be awesome. Uh, please visit my website, robinholstein.org, to subscribe to my newsletter. Um, once a month, I'll be sending out the newsletter, and I'll have a unique uh, digital image of a drawing that I do that I will not share um, to anyone else except for my subscribers through the website. Uh, and if you would like to purchase this original, uh, this will be in my store as well. Uh, hope you all um, have a great day and uh, stay productive.